that moment when you realize everybody went down to the barn and they left you here alone. you ever woke up super grouchy and then everybody leaves you and tries to get away from you yeah that's what happened it's true I'm super grouchy today um, the first step in fixing the problem is acknowledging the problem I'm grouchy so I'm gonna make a vow right this second to turn everything around be happier be nicer the rain is really getting me down it's hard to just I don't know in Canada, when you live in an area with low levels of light and sun, it really wreaks havoc on your emotional state. It does. And sometimes when you have dark day after dark day after dark day, you start to feel dark. But I challenge you as you're watching this, if you're having a bad day, to make it turn around. To start thinking good thoughts, looking forward, thinking positive, and doing your best to be happy. Choose one thing to be thankful for today. Start there. Just choose one thing. And today, I'm grateful that it's not raining right now. Hi Stella. Hi Stella. Hello girl. What did he do? He Can you go turn off the radio the please? The end of it so that it's not quite sticking off the back so that he can't step on the back part again and pull it off. Storm, we are going to fix you. So uh, are those bell boots, do they touch the ground? Yes. So I mean, lucky for us, a subscriber sent us these bell boots. Storm's like, just leave me alone. I'm having breakfast. Don't talk to me till I've had my coffee, AKA grain. So this is how I divide the hay. Every day, uh, the horse gets a third of a bale in the morning and a third of a bale at night, except for Willow. And so what I do is I divide my bales into three and then, I get some for Willow. Oops. And then, so I give the boys oh, one of these piles for breakfast. And then I divide this evenly for the girls. So then that makes sense it's hard to see but then the girls so then the girls have equal piles for breakfast and lunch and the boys have equal piles so the boys will have one of these big piles for breakfast and one of these big piles for lunch what happened last night what happened last night i got sick all the horses good girl including him he's actually good was he good? He needs to just get done. That's what, that's why lots of times. You're supposed to be doing it two or three times a week. Still. Two or three times a day. Still. Um, so, when your miniature pony's not eating, just feed her a little later, because then she'll clear her bowl. Um, all miniature ponies eat, Whoa. except for Willow. <laughs> Did she clear her bowl? Yeah, she does eat, she just is slow. Right, We're walking these boys out because it's slippery. Mm, you're such a pretty girl. Oh, good girl. <laughs> she wasn't paying attention. She thinks of us as the easygoing family. Oh, Sam, you are making the arena beautiful. Look at all the wasted hay. So it's super slippery out there. I'm super nervous, but I mean, you can't just hold your horses in. 
Um, if we put them out in the field right now, like in the big field, if we had it set up, then they'd just trample it because it's all, everything's so soft and wet anyway. So I guess it's kind of like we're putting them in their winter field until the summer field is ready. But yeah, man. Ice and then mud, like it, she is mad. Yeah, like, oh, she was mad at Sophia shooting her mare. She's mad because you held her back. No, which because it's good that you did that. Ooh. Your pony. All right, let's talk chicken coops. This is our temporary chicken coop that is actually laying on the ground. Yep, laying on the ground. Woo, there it is. <laughs> but bigger than what they have. together. I did most of the work. Okay, you're silly. I did most of the work and I'm five now. Okay, so. So, obviously these legs are not sturdy, so I'm just going to have to fix that. Um, and there's doors that will go on here. And so this is it for, this is our temporary chicken home, you guys. I don't know, this yeah, so this stands up. This is their water, food. Basically, um, it's gonna be like, so that will come all the way up to here, and they'll have all that section to run and be whatever. Um, and then he will be building it on this side too. Like, it's gonna be a lot bigger than this, and it's going to grow as we grow. And he's also going to be putting a nesting box on the back here. And then in the winter, it'll get another whole overhaul. I do like that it's kind of nestled between trees and bushes. So yeah, like it's getting there. It's a hard process, but it rains every day. We will get there. He's gonna level this off and fix up some stuff. He's gonna put the fencing a little bit underneath the ground like we did at our other house so that no predators can get to our beautiful babies. But at least we're one more step in the right direction. So, I just did the thing that I've never done before. I told the girls, your lesson is about to start. You need to go down and get your horses ready. And I stayed here. I stayed at the house. It was so comforting, so relaxing, so quiet. But anyways, now they've been down there for about 15 minutes, so I'm going to go check up on them. I do still feel a little bit nervous with them down at the horses by themselves. Brown then, okay. and then from Bucks, and I'm like, okay, I need to let they... him do it, then he was fine. And then, so, so Finn wouldn't stand still, so Sophia lunged him, like did that exercise that Fiona said to do, like lunge and then pull him in and lunge the other way. He bucked, a huge buck, bigger than Storm. Finn? Yeah. You can watch your ponies while we go get our helmets and boots on. Okay, hurry up, because I need to sweep. So, um. So, so your hair looks kind of like uh, Finn's, all curly, and oh, Finn's is all curly. Finn, you bucked? I wish I had a got it. Yeah. Oh yeah, he bucked like 15 million yeah. times. So the girls tie a knot. Okay, one sec. In a way so that it's an easy release knot. So if our horses get upset and want to pull the thing down, run, nobody will get hurt, right? This is a broom. I'm about to sweep. So basically, um, we're having a lesson today. We have lessons on Tuesdays and Thursdays usually. Want to be like the star of the show? Is that is that the problem here? Anyways, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are our lessons, so we're having a lesson today. It's not ideal situation outside 
or inside really but we're just gonna do what we can because every day is a chance to learn and I like that fact that the girls are doing flatting lessons right now it's nice to always have like opportunity to do flatting lessons but on Thursday don't eat my broom don't eat the broom oh my god he's about to bite the broom don't bite the broom <laughs> he's about to bite it like a carrot oh my gosh that was dangerous don't bite brooms anyways um so on Thursday don't interrupt me storm on Thursday things are about to change so drastically like we're about to add a whole new dimension to our vlogs. A whole new dimension. You guys are so cute, but I think they just think that I'm holding a carrot. Yeah, you're gonna have a lesson, you bucker. And you're a bucker. I'm surprised Sophie's like, I'm not riding him. Don't bite my hand. Do you not? I'm trying to keep your horses comfortable and quiet while you get your stuff on. Why are you screaming? Because your horse tried to eat the broom. Oh yes, he does that. Here. No, no, no. He tried to bite it off like a carrot. Don't let him. Wait. He wants to sweep. Duh. Wait, like, I just want to sweep, guys. Finn, you'll be a good boy. You want? Alright, so I opened this side and I rigged it up myself. I literally feel lost and broken down, like from the weather, like I, the mud, the dark, like it's dark in here, and it makes me feel lost, like, I don't know how to describe it, I'm sure other people feel that way sometimes too, but I just want to put my horses in their stall, cancel everything until the weather clears, but lessons have to go on, you have to make the best of it. And you can't just complain all day. It is a super cold, super rainy day. I got my trusted bathrobe on. I got clothes on though. And we're doing something we never do ever together. We're watching a movie. What movie are we watching? Mom's sleeping. Uh, Guardians I fell of the Galaxy. Guardian of the Galaxy. I have fell asleep, you guys. It's true. I feel bad. Like, I do not relax very well. But sometimes you just we gotta do it. It's because we watch the Marvel movies and it involves death and people dying. And yeah. Mom falls asleep. I fall asleep it. because I do not like people dying. And now we're farm shopping. Just like that. First I was sleeping, now I'm farm shopping. Yeah, and then you just buy the little things. How much is the. Where's the little things? They're buy? over here. How much is that bucket? Oh, it's got little holes in it though. That would not That's work. for the thing. Oh, well usually you put them on the bottom. So basically, oh, this is the one I want. This water jug that is $65 here is $35 at a store closer to us. So this is the one I showed you that I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna buy the one closer to us. Basically they just hit it with their mouth and the water comes out. So Sam ordered a stock tank, but it's a small black one. We did not get one like this because we do not have a lot of horses. And even though this would be good, it's just too much for us. We'd have to like dump it all the time and be wasting water because it gets dirty. So we want to dump it often. I think he maybe got this size. I don't know, but this is what I think it looks like. Okay, so. Oh, those are nice. They're temporary. You move them around everywhere. Yeah, I like them. So basically, we are. Our own house is just fenced that area, anyways. So. Yeah. So basically, we are going to strip feed our horses in the grass, and the reason we're going to do that, just one little strip of grass at a time, is because we are trying to acclimatize our horses to the grass, our boys, anyway, and th then the girls can have the full run of the paddock that they have right now. But very soon, I want to have all of our boys in that big, huge paddock over so here. To get paddock supplies as well. I love shopping for our farm so much. So do we need another one of these for our... If we were to put it out there, yeah. So we're gonna have to get one one of these. I got zapped by our fence today, so we need those. We need a solar one, that's all we need. Oh, they have solar ones of these? Yeah. We also need shavings and we're gonna get those here. Next winter, I'm gonna buy these, you guys. They're like overall snow pants, insulated, pants waterproof breathable pants and I've seen other people wear them and if you have a farm why not wear these over top of your pants 
because they'll keep you so warm. And I'm gonna get buy them for the girls for Christmas too. And it's gonna be really fun. Like I'm excited to have some farm pants. And they are $200. That is insane, but well worth it, I'm sure. I'm really glad the girls didn't come with us because I found a thin horse. And if they were here, Sophie would have talked me into buying this. So that's our little stock tank. How much was that? 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Wow. The idea is to put the horses in the paddock in, a, in just a small area that we create, like a temporary area. Everything's temporary in our barn. We're at the temporary barn. Um, is to put them in there for like 30 minutes every day, which they've been leading up to about 30 minutes. 30 minutes every day, then put them back in the field. 30 minutes for three days, and then Fiona told me what to look for and how to tell if they're ready to move up. So um, then just slowly increase the time until they're out in that field all the time. And slowly they'll have already eaten a lot of the grass down. Anyway, so hopefully it's all gonna work out, but that's what we're- I hitting something. I don't hit something. Hopefully, I heard the guy talking. Hopefully, you didn't hit the guy. The horses think it's supper time. In the barn and seeing that little head hanging over there. That is a dream, you guys. That is a dream. It felt so good to have a rest today. I never rest in the daytime, ever, ever, ever. I never sit down. I never take breaks. It just felt so good. It just felt so refreshing, so renewing, and I think that's probably what I needed and why my day started out so grouchy. Aw, look at your muddy feet. I'm sorry. Soon, soon, Stella. Soon the wet, warm weather is coming. Get in there. Go. Oh, you're such a nice girl. Okay. Sam and I are teaming it up today. Hi, Willow. Good girl, acting your age. All right, this is where it gets dicey. Believe it or not, Sam and I never do chores together. So what I think happens is Sam lets them run in here. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa, good boy. He's like, go ahead, Storm. Storm's learning to be a nice horse now. Good boy. Good boy. You are such a nice horse. Do you love Finn? So when the chiropractor came the other day, she said, I like this horse. You guys, I'm gonna end today's video. Before I do, I just wanna say, you do not wanna miss Friday's video because it's gonna be crazy and exciting. Maybe you guys won't be as excited as I am, but I can't think of anything else. Like, it's gonna be exciting. See you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.